Great news everyone, the problem is resolved. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, it was about the assembly. Unfortunately, the Chinese people have forgotten to install the resistor on the back. So there is no 100k resistor here on the board as I receive them. And before the resistor is installed, we have that issue with the reboot after about 5 minutes. Now with the resistor, the board is happy for, what is it, 20 minutes now. So that was an easy fix. Um, I guess that's a chance to talk about how the boards are arriving. On this order, there is a lot of progress. Um, now those uh, black 25 by 2s are installed. The, li the little LCD uh, socket is now installed. The connector is now installed. On the other hand, they've chose not to install these transistors. That's probably because I shipped them in a bag like that, so they didn't want to do that manually. So for whatever reason, they didn't install the diode, the D1003, they shipped those back, so I'm installing them myself, that's the assembled board. They don't really like installing those um, zero ohm resistors into that, uh, just the through hole package like jumper 05 and jumper 06 here in the center, I think we'll have to change the package here so that they start installing those. I think it's the same story with the LCD power jumper. They didn't install it even while I was requesting that because the package is wrong. On the other hand, I think they kind of got bored with how many components we have. They did install this jumper because the package was right while I was requesting not to install it for safety. They did install the zero ohm on the, for the LCD here while it's just the bypass for um, the adjustable port shouldn't be there I need to double check they installed everything right here it looks a bit different from the front Kenzo 4 board but anyway overall the boards are all working the power supplies are all working um, obviously there's no way for me to just assemble them myself oh and by the way that's where the vertical USB was assembled uh, because I don't know why, we will have to remove that place from here altogether and next time the sample I ship them I'll install the vertical in the right place. Uh, yeah, but great news is the power supply problem is resolved, I can proceed my real car testing.